shocking conditions. This week, we're dealing with out of control mold. It's hard to see the ceiling, isn't it? The ceiling's all yeah, yellow, isn't it? The ceiling is yellow. We do a deep clean to prevent a factory from being shut down, and we get deep into auditing our own sites to check our own standards. I'm Lee, this is Vapor Clean. Let's see behind the cleans. Monday, 22nd of January, just getting ready for a crazy busy day today. On the specialist side, extractor systems and many other jobs, the particularly interesting one is a static caravan deep clean. It's got some mold present as well, which makes me nervous, but we've got two technicians on that later today and we'll see how that one gets on. It's gonna be fun, I reckon. On the contract side, we've got Ashley out on the Dings Crusaders Rugby Club to do an audit. I think this is probably the cleanest I've seen it for a long time. It's not bad, is it? Interview there as well, basically making sure that the team are all up and together. It is a very tricky site. All of our rugby clubs, sports clubs are tricky sites when it's wet and windy outside because obviously all of that trapes in. The changing rooms are difficult and it can be really hard to get them up and together. So we're going to give it a little bit of extra attention today to make sure it's all spot on and okay for the remainder of the week. I'm actually out with one of the support ops later in the week to get some auditing done myself and do some audit training. Not only do I want to make sure that our sites are right, but I can also make sure that our support ops are auditing them to the right standard. You'll have to come back later in the week to see that one though, so you can see around a few more of our sites. It's hard to see the ceiling, isn't it? The ceiling's all yeah, yellow, isn't it? The ceiling I'm is yellow. Trying to get it on the camera, but you can't, it doesn't show it. The ceiling is yellow, but it's bad up there as well, mate. Yeah. And this is what we've done so far. So just had a conversation with Scott, the technic one of the techs that is on that static caravan clean. It made me nervous for a reason. Mold. I can't stand mold. It is a lot worse than what we were expecting. A little bit of a, a mistake on our end because I think we haven't maybe quoted it thoroughly enough. We resisted the urge to go out and see it basically because we can't go out and see everything. It's not cost effective, but it has caused an issue. It's gonna take a lot longer. How do we solve that problem? Because we do have an issue with the fact that We've quoted it incorrectly. We've promised the customer a price. When we get to site in that scenario, we explain it very honestly and we are up front. This isn't a lot worse condition than we were expecting. It, therefore, it's gonna take longer to achieve. So we have to formulate a plan on how we do this. The plan was and is that we clean the worst room, which the technicians have done. And we see what exactly what result we can achieve and how long that takes. And then we re-estimate we, we re quote but in the interim once that room's clean the client has a look and make sure they are happy with it because that has got to be the number one goal so we've done that we've cleaned the room the guys weren't overly you know they're they're not overly happy with it they're kind of like i would like to see it better but we're really struggling to get the result we can't remove certain bits of mold the customer however has gone in and he's like you, you've got rid of like 95 96 percent of the mold that's in there it, it's it's not really visible and a lot of it he would consider as damage he said i think the technicians are, are over worrying too concerned with exactly what they're going to achieve but i really appreciate the effort and i'd like you to carry on we don't have enough time in the day today to finish it off because the techs would be there all night therefore we've agreed with the customer that we'll go back later in the week and we'll finish the clean off sometimes these things happen and it is about how you deal with them that affects the whole team uh, the customer and the whole team. And that's what we've got to be sure of is what, how can we 
deal with these situations in a way that keeps the customer happy and is satisfactory for the team as well. So that's what we're doing. We're going back later in the week and we'll bring, keep watching because we'll bring you that later in the video. I've seen it for a long time, and considering they haven't got a machine at the moment. It's not bad, is it? It is Wednesday, the 23rd of January. Can't believe how time is flying. Weather has certainly changed. It's like the polar opposite of last week. We're into relatively high temperatures and lots of rain, but the rain brings less problems when it comes to the equipment. So we'll look on the bright side. Busy day to day as usual. Contracts team are doing their usual, lots of site visits, training and things like that as well, because we've got some new starters on some different sites. On the technician side, one particular extractor clean, we actually cleaned for 2017 so it would be what three four five six seven seven six or seven years ago for various reasons they closed the kitchen down for a while and now they've reopened and it's just fantastic i actually had a conversation with this gentleman last week when i was ha helping out the team on the phone but it's just fantastic when you speak to them and they just say oh we, you know you did an amazing job last time so the minute we knew we needed someone we just literally picked the phone back up to you it's amazing to know that obviously you're still around in the cleaning industry, companies come and go every five minutes. I have seen so many companies start and go because they think it's easy, and it's not. The cleaning is the easy bit, frankly. And if you can't get that right, then you really don't stand a chance. We also have a trial shift going on today. We've got a couple of trial shifts this week for the technician position that we have available. Hopefully that goes well. Myself, I'm working with marketing. Going to be spending some time this afternoon all afternoon pretty much with Craig strategizing and just clarifying reviewing some of the stuff the plans that we've already got some of the things we're already doing um, and looking at some of the content we're already creating as well and the results we're achieving so good day for that as well all, all in all should be a good day Wednesday the 24th of January, busy day in the office. Um, technicians are in to pick up some stock items. It's a busy day today because yesterday we had a call from a regular customer that has basically had a health inspection. They're a food production site and they've had a health inspection and they needed some urgent cleans. They don't want to go down in their star ratings and this is a, it's basically a feud factory. So they're producing food to send out to their local sites and they don't want to go down in their star rating, so they've got to get some urgent cleans in. So they called us and asked us, asked us if we could get um, anyone over there urgently to get that cleaned and up and together. So we've actually been had the support ops, a couple of the support ops over there this morning to get that done. We're back in there again tomorrow to get that done in the morning with some support ops and a technician as well. So, you know, we're really trying to help out just get it done on an urgent basis. Today, 
We've got uh, Lee, our head technician, is over at Moncton Elm Garden Centre. Now, it's one of those sites that you wouldn't maybe think has um, that much of a requirement for an extractor clean, but garden centre cafes are always really busy. And um, this one in particular is a very busy cafe. It's a, a quite a big system, very complicated. So Lee's gonna be showing you around that one later on today and letting you know what it's like. <laughs> Fan and ducting up there is spotless. Oh, is it? I don't know if they, yeah, I don't know if they physically clean it themselves, but there is hardly anything. There's the minute little light film of grease on the fan. Yeah, as to, because we and clean the it. And is clean. A better clean than last time. I don't know if it's, it's just gone to six months. No, it's it's always well, we always done six months. It's always been six months, but they used to have the char grill under the front canopy. It's gone now. There. Oh, what the canopy's yeah. gone or the char no, grill's the gone? No, the canopy's there. The char grill's gone. Yeah, that's. It's just like a serving counter now. Yeah, he told me last time I spoke to him. He said he, they were doing away with that because it didn't bring enough business in anyway and it, uh, it right, was just yeah. it was just hard work in the kitchens he used to be at one point they were three monthly because the level of build-up was so bad it worked out quite well last night so one of us did the fan in the ducting upstairs two of us did like the one side of the canopy each yeah. and then we just two of us did the filters it worked out really well good cool so that's good to hear cool all right that's i'll let you get on because i know you're busy um if you all do right. need anything else give me a shout will do cheers right. Right. cheers to that mate wheels after a deep clean. It's a massive difference. Being a legend, George, that's what it is. It's for being a legend. <laughs> I was trying to get there. <laughs> Turned his back and hit that. And you put that on blue tacky in the van, alright? Oh yeah. Yeah. Good. So everyone can see it. Good. Good. <laughs> Tell them straight, that's what you get, yeah. see? When you lead by example, you make it your own, that's what you get. I just know it's family, I don't know the rest. <laughs> Gotta learn it. I, I will, Heads I, up, I'm gonna test you when it comes I, to the I, next meeting. I will learn it, just... <laughs> yeah. So currently working on um, a new marketing strategy for the commercial side in particular, as in the commercial specialist clean, but also the contract cleaning as well. Trouble is with the clean industry is it's so competitive all the time. Um, people don't always realize that there is a, a difference between service level and everything else and you have to try and get in front of as many people as you can. So obviously lots of discussions with Craig yesterday about marketing and I'm personally working on this new strategy to see if we can get in front of, of more more clients basically or more potential clients. Um, and that's that's basically my afternoon. A bit of training with the customer service team again as well just to keep things pushing forward and keep our conversion rates going and stuff like that. It's about making sure that we are helping the customers out and that they know that and the different ways of doing it. Thursday, 25th of January. I am out with Marcus all day today doing some training on auditing. Obviously getting the opportunity to go and have a look around some of the sites myself. I miss this, I miss going out and having a look at sites and, and getting enough time on sites. I would like to do more of it, but obviously you only have so many hours in a day and days in a week. It's really important for that exact reason to make sure that your team are as strong as you are as well though or better, frankly. So I need to make sure that we are supporting and training each of the team 
to the best degree we possibly can. By going out with Marcus, I'm basically trying to teach him the level of auditing, but also checking what his, what his level of auditing already is, because he's the eyes and ears. One of our core values is make it your own, take pride in the work that you do. He's not necessarily actually cleaning these sites, he's auditing the cleaning operatives on site. But we wanna make sure that he's taking um, all of the support ops are taking pride in their site and therefore feeding back the right information, coming up with plans of how we can improve and move forward and everything else. And this is us investing the time and the effort and the energy because you can do all the in the office theory training that you want, but we want to put more of it out there on you know, practical when you're out on the road on the sites because that's when it gets real and you learn the most. So we're going to do that today. Hopefully get us all on the same page and to where we need to be. Quick pit stop at the office though, because we've had an urgent request from one of the sites um, for some stock and Marcus doesn't have it on his van. So I'm going to run into the office quickly and grab that now. Obviously it's out of order. What, but what was that, sorry? Yet. Say it again. The brewery, the yeah. brewery, the downstairs disabled toilet, the, um, Pipes must have backed up in the night. Oh. So it gone everywhere. I obviously mocked up what I could, but I said to them, like, I obviously can't clean it until they've got the pipe work sorted. Yeah. But I've mocked up the excess off the floor and they've put an out of water sign on it, I hope. If they haven't, I'll break one up in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Because I'm not going to let any customers go in there after that. But yeah, I'll see you in five anyway. Yeah, I'm literally just pulling off the main road, so I'll, I'll see you now anyway. We'll have a look. All right. All right. No worries. See Cheers, Marcus. Bye. You can go for it. Yeah, no, I'm going to. Actually, here, that was an Elvis fight at the door. Uh, Worst thing is you've got to part with us all day. Uh, what what was the lady's is, name, sorry? Uh, Patricia, she's in the ladies, isn't it? Yeah, that's all right, I want a toilet. Uh, <laughs> Patricia, Hiya, Patricia, you alright? I'm the cameraman for a sec. Oh. Do you mind being on camera? Or do you want to just point it I away? I haven't got much teeth in, my teeth are broke. <laughs> well, welcome to the Vapor Clean family Thank for you. the start. Thank you for, for joining us, basically. How are you getting on? How's yeah, Marcus yeah, treating you? Yeah, Marcus is terrible. He's terrible. Uh, he's alright. Doesn't stop talking though, does he? Uh, that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Cleaners like me. Are you yeah. saying mine don't like me? Uh, I'm saying <laughs> professional like. I've tried helping all day, yesterday and today, just yeah. to get Patricia in a good place so she knows where she's at. And, and that's what it, that is what we're about. So you know you only have to pick up the phone, whether it's to Marcus or to Ashley, what, whatever it is. Anything we can help you with, just let us know. Well, you know, we all get working. So different yeah. places than yeah. Like, these two aren't yeah. too Everyone's bad. Everyone's different, too. this is nice as well. Yeah, these are, these are quite nice sites to be fair. I don't yeah. think they're too bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're... Their bars, so yeah, it's I've never not. Cleaned a bar before, so it's you nice. not? It's nice. The good thing is they do the day-to-day -day cleaning. Obviously, we're just trying to bring that standard up because you know what it's like if you've got yeah. bar staff cleaning. They're not the same standard as cleaners, are they? I don't know. I was a bar staff and I cleaned. My cleaning's fine. Thank you very much. No, <laughs> I've just defended him. <laughs> no, no, but, no, but like, come on. It, it, I got told off. I know that was more than I was actually yeah. doing bar work. Then. And I know that is very much generalization of, of things but yeah. it, it, is. it is if you've done a foot if you've done it then you know exactly what it's like of house, you if do... you're away from the bar you get yeah. a queue and then you get moaned out for cleaning and yeah. if you're at the bar you get moaned out for cleaners and if you do a long shift and then you've got to come and clean at the end, <coughs> at the end of the night it's the last thing you want to do anything that you can't reach or you can't do you're unsure if if you spot anything like that yeah. that's the perfect thing to feed across I'm sure marcus has probably shown you but on the on the it. app well, i, I know well, it's just i lent on it with Give my hand <laughs> i took my finger <laughs> put it off it all as bad as well never. you know the app when you clock out um, I, need I have to... only got a basic phone. She hasn't got oh, a phone right, okay. yet. And I haven't got internet. I think we might have one in temporarily because we, we have one just to sort of temporarily yeah. issue out. I think we might have one in the office yeah. that we can if potentially I issue out. Phone, yeah. When you can <coughs> get to a, get a new phone, then obviously yeah. we can do it on yeah. there for you and set we, you up. We, we will need you to get a new phone yeah. and get set up on it because there's, there's two reasons. Obviously, for number one, the client is going to want to know that we're tracking the hours properly yeah. um, so they're getting what they're paying for. Number two, it covers us from a health and safety perspective. Yeah. Make sure you're Time okay so nothing's happened coming come in. And like um, if you don't check out, then we know we can check with you and make sure you're okay and things like that, all right? So we, we do need to try. Oh, shit, is he working yet? Yeah? Hi, Ali, you all right? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I've just literally, as I dialed your number, thought, 
Okay. Is he even working yet? He might not even be in yet. Because you were out yesterday yeah, yeah. evening, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm down at um, the warehouse. Oh, Joyce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, two seconds. Craig, block that yeah. name out. That's the... That is the customer that rang the other day that has pretty much been told to clean it up or get shut down, isn't it? Yes, that's so, what Danny told me. Yeah, so we're doing the salvage operation of, of cleaning them up and then I've got a call with them to basically put a plan in place so they keep their standards where it is so to uh, they could be coming on as a contract yeah. customer, which is uh, which will be really good. Um, that's so, right, yeah. man. It's, it's, I've seen some pictures and videos of that. It's in a pickle on it it's mainly just like the wheels and stuff that are just yeah. caked and gone <laughs> yeah all right That's i'll let you get on because i know you're busy um if you all do right. need anything else give me a shout Second sight of the day is the beautiful Haverley Manor. So we're gonna have a look around and see what we're doing on the audits. We've been getting reasonable audit scores here, um, but I wanna see if we can just get a little bit better. You might not wanna catch I might that. get something I don't want. <laughs> That's always nice. We haven't cleaned it today, obviously. So today is a good day to actually audit. So this is a no, this is a we don't clean, clean on a Thursday. No. Right, okay. So I wouldn't expect the audit to come up very good yeah. today. Because okay. so our I last clean was Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah? Yeah. That hand on heart, she does do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. see it. Mop and vacuum floor. She wouldn't vacuum it, she'd sweep it. Sweep, yeah. That needs changing. Sanitise touch panels and handles. Yeah, I mean, sanitise is a bit different, but they should still be dust free. Because if they're, if they're not dust free, you know they've mm. not been sanitised. Clean horizontal edges. To me, I'd say any horizontal edge. We're going to capture everything, so yeah. we're not going to miss anything. But one horizontal edge, for example, is this. Yeah, and you'd say no and chance. The, straight away, yeah. you know, all right, we haven't actually cleaned here for a few a couple of days because we like don't that. do seven days a week here, but that is, and that's only a once a week thing. And then the cobweb edges and ceilings. Yeah. Now, looking around the ceiling, I can't see no, no cobwebs, no cobwebs. So that's okay. It's a horizontal edge. Yeah. Anything you know? that is flat that you Anything can that is flat off. that is like, not already listed. Exactly that top of the door frame. You can't reach it. I can't reach that one, no. Oh, God. Can, can, can the op reach I up there? I don't think yeah. Felicia can reach that either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's the thing, sometimes you've got to take, but again, what were we saying earlier? Just to ask if actually you're not sure if she can reach that. So if you're doing an audit and you pick these things up, I keep doing it. Look, they're so snazzy. But if you're doing an audit, a cloth, because you know, yeah. bang, it's done. So now we're up at the attic nightclub, and we're gonna have a look around the attic, see how they're getting on. They are just coming towards the end of their shift, so it's the perfect time to be auditing and seeing how they they are getting on. So let's get have a look around. Cheers. Thank you. I don't, I don't think it's been happened yet, but we're, they're moving the cupboard, aren't they? So, or they're moving, oh, right. they want us out of that cupboard and down to the one down the bottom end. Okay. But then we're putting our own lock on it. Oh, so right, anything yeah. we can put in there, we can lock everything away. Yeah, and it's all, it's all lost time then, isn't it? That's the trouble exactly. and that's, that's the big thing is you need, to, you need to be able to do everything as quick as you can. How are you getting, other, other than that, you're getting on all right? Yeah, Just yeah. Ticking over as usual, I suppose. Yeah, I cool, yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, we've got some uniform there for you. So that's all been sent up. What I have just noticed out the front is the clocking tag isn't on the door frame anymore. Is it not? No. When I first came here, that was there. Why? They gave us our emergency contact number for the phone, hadn't they? So we was ringing our son's number. Yeah. So I've swapped it over now on my phone, so I now know I've got the right one. Are you not doing it via the tag then? Or are you doing it, what are you? Doing it from my app. So if you go yeah. and check in, it's still on GPS. It's on GPS. It's probably a case of the wrong, the wrong tag number, so we need to get a new tag put up anyway. How are you doing, Gemma? Are you all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. I'm not. I'm being pestered by the boss man today. <laughs> He's got to spend a whole day with me. Can you imagine that? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that way. Eh? 
Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit lost. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know why, men seem to think it's a challenge to put a cup in there and try and pee to the limit of the cup. Wow. <laughs> And then you'll find I was going to say, let, let's be honest, we've all been guilty of making a few games out of that. We're no, all, we're all, we're all, we're all, I've never done that one. <laughs> a, few, a few silly games along those ways, isn't it? It does make me laugh. Do you know, they, people always say that the men are the worst, but yeah. I've got to be honest, women, yeah, no. they, they just... You'll be, you can be amazed, can't you? Yeah. It's ridiculous. It needs to be better around the edges. Mm -hmm. But come and have a look at the main toilet. And I know it's bad, it's they've got some tidying right? to do. Just, no, just even the toilet. I mean, I've just used that one, so that one's not too bad. Cause, but, uh, oh, I didn't realise that was a, a different toilet, to be fair. But that one, you can see where he's putting this, the stuff down there. Mm. <laughs> and I know we've bought toilet brushes up one. It's, yeah. not, it's not being scrubbed. Right, we said before, if you make a note, because I don't think this got made a note of last time, I, we said last time that we were going to bring him a mop and a squeegee for the mirrors and things to make life a bit easier. No, so... Um, on that, yeah? Yeah. Can I just be the really annoying person and show you both something, please? For the record, I know you've got to pick and choose what you do each day and stuff like that and things along those lines. Um, and a lot of it will be to do with like how much water you've got and things and things and everything else. I know I'm just flying in and I'm just picking a fault when you've both worked very, very hard, all right? But I'm not picking a fault, I'm just looking at things that we, yeah. you know, they've already raised with me to see what we can upscale. We notice obviously you've not got toilet brushes on site no. and stuff like that. So we've bought them up. I have to scrub these with my it. hands. I literally scrub right. them with well, my hands. Well, I don't want you doing that. And right. that's what these are here for. What I would recommend for these is- That's that I, what I use in here and scrub it with my hands. Yeah, right? and that's what I would use. But what I would do is I'd mix it up in a bucket. Yeah. I'd literally mix it up in a bucket so you've got it like to dip in and everything. Okay. Because then you can also use it on, on the sinks and everything else, all right? So with, you probably, sounds like you're already doing the same thing then. but. Rather than well, doing it by hand, but it just yeah, but like that, look, it's just if you add a bucket as well. We haven't got any water, but if yeah. I just add a bit of water, whatever, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, wicked. That's come straight off. So yeah, so you've got a couple of them, and if you need more, when they start to wear out, not when they're gone, <laughs> when they start to wear out, just give us a shout. Yeah, we yeah, can put yeah. them in there, but we can put some not spare ones in. And it's the same, the same on the toilet. And I looked at this one. I could see you squirting it down. Again, same reason, you don't have a toilet brush. But do just make sure every time you just run the toilet brush around it, because yeah, yeah. it's, it's really thick up and around the top there. Because, and I know the seat's fixed as well, isn't it? Which yeah. is always fun. Gonna, I said to you before that we're gonna get you your mop and squeegee for the mirrors and the windows yeah, and everything, because, yeah. I mean, we'll be honest, I've just put that big mark on the mirror because I saw it straight away. We'll get that done as well, and then we can go from there. I just want to reiterate what I've said before, is the fact is we are here to help you. So when you're doing things, or if you're finding your, your life particularly hard on something, or it's taking you a really long time, let us know, communicate with us, ask us, you know, even if you don't know a way of solving it, just mention it and we'll, we'll try and figure one out if we don't already know. I'm actually out all day with Marcus today, do, doing training with Marcus, so with the auditing and stuff like that as well. So I, I'm just picking you on, on you because I'm here, sorry. I, I, I have a habit, I do have a habit of that. But I'm not, I'm not picking on you, I am trying to make your life harder. So, but we'll let you get on now and let you crack on because yeah, I know you want to get finished. So. When we check the canteen, that's where the coffee goes. Have you got the audit up for this again? We might, we're going to need to let them know that what we're here to do. So with every scrub, right, first thing that I notice immediately is this handle is missing. There should be a yellow yeah. handle that comes around there. That's missing. There's a, there's a switch on these, so when they fill up, they cut off. Mm -hmm. But I'm checking inside to see exactly what it looks like. Yeah. It looks reasonable. The, the water inside looks yeah. okay. That is the waste tank. That's not the clean tank. It, it doesn't really matter, but what I'm looking for is I'm looking at, you know, Damn it. is it just pure water or is it... Uh, has it got solution in it? Does it smell like the right solution? You shouldn't have chemical in it for a scrub dryer. You can, it's not ideal, but you, um, well, it is ideal. What am I on about? You can, you just mm. have to be the right solution. Okay. So it has to be a scrub or dryer solution. You can't use If you just put any solution in it, it'll it foam up and it'll just it can destroy, destroy the scrub or dryer. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, there's a difference between 
old dirt and new dirt. So this area, this mm. isn't on the on there, it's is not it? On there, then. So this needs adding to the audit. So that's the dispensary and corridor, something like that. Dispensary but slash one corridor. of the things that's been raised before is this one doesn't get cleaned with the scrubber dryer. Mm. I don't think they're cleaning any of it with a scrubber dryer in, in all honesty. What, um, the floors? The floors, I, and I, I don't know if that is because it blocked up before Christmas, which is why they but stopped. Not told anyone. But they haven't, they haven't highlighted it to anyone, so the issue's not gonna get fixed. Now, we don't do that area in there at all, mm -hmm. because that is their domain. We don't do any of these rooms, because that is metal. Can we swap back? It, 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 depending it, on the, it can need topping up. They don't have too many hours, if you know what I mean. They have enough at yeah. certain times of the year. I'm, I'm okay with that. It smells nice, isn't it? Could be buffed, but it's clean. It's clean, I think, yeah, I think that's a yes. Yeah, yeah. looks I wouldn't it. Say no dust on but that. when we look at hand dryer, I don't just look at the dryer, no. look at the wall. Mm -hmm. Now that means that's no that's to me. Needs clean. Well, that's it, and that that's what it's all about. It's about making sure that you're still casting your eye over things and looking around areas that not everyone looks. Yeah, because it's on because it's a no, then yeah. we can have an action plan. So this this then creates a task, yeah. which highlights in big red of what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. Okay. Um, and then Ashley can go through and actually complete them off to say that look, that's been done. Yeah. So they they stand out on the system. So it's better to do action so follow, plans and just comment. Yeah. So if you need yeah. to. If you know it's a no and we need to address it, but how? That was so nice. Um, I've just had a phone call from a customer that we've worked for so many years, but I haven't spoken to them, to them for a long time. They, they're a, a caravan park and we do their extractor system and a couple of other bits and pieces and everything else as well. So we do quite a lot of work for them, but I haven't spoken to them in a while. And do you know what? Just literally a call to say, I just wanted to ring you and say thank you very much because as always, the, the work was really good. Uh, the customer service was excellent. Um, the pricing was really good for what we've had done. And I haven't spoken to you in a long time, so I thought I'd ring you and say to you specifically and make the effort, thank you very much. That's amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's the team that deserve the, the thank you. But do you know what? It, it just means a lot when people go to that extra effort to actually ring you up and say thank you and everything else. So yeah, that made me feel really good. So brilliant, glad to hear that. Windowsill sparkler. Clean and sanitized. If I was being ultra picky, but that is probably so worked old on there that, it that ain't it, coming it's off. It's not coming off by then, but what we could do is a bit of um, bit around the outside, but then like either a, a blade scraper or a butter knife and okay. just kind of flick it off. Okay. And then a stainless steel scourer and just rub it yeah. around. It's another, another one of those things that we could, we could do sort of ad hoc. So there we have it, last visit done at the Culver Hay Surgery. We've got the regular, we've got the same cleaner in there that we've had in there for a while. Um, she's an operative that has been with us for many, many years and come over from a different site to that one because it was more local to her. She is an operative who, who does a, an amazing clean um, consistently, to be fair. So really, really pleased with that one. Good day all in all. Nice to spend the day with Marcus, get to know him a little bit better, try and help him learn and up his skills, get him on the same page as everyone else. And you know, it's just been really, really good. He's been really receptive to it. And I'm really pleased with the way that he is checking things, the way he's doing his audit and how thorough he's being, but also how supportive would be the right word for a support op, how supportive he's being to both the client and the operative you know it is easy to pick fault with operatives and yes that is part of the job we have to we have to find the issues to keep the customers happy or to stop them escalating into issues that affect the customer um, but he's being supportive with it so if there's things that aren't quite right or could potentially escalate into an issue um, or we think may have been missed he's given the right words about well you know maybe i should have a chat with with the person and see why that is and what's going on and, ex and everything else so really really good day um 
very worthwhile although i've got about 500 emails in my inbox again um and i'll have a busy day catching up tomorrow but we're done i'm heading home and it's all good Friday 26th of January, I'm in the office. Got lots of catching up to do after being out of the office yesterday. Really good to be out yesterday though, and I think we got a lot from it. A couple of ideas on how we can help to work with our customers and improve the service we're delivering for them. Today though, we do have the technicians back at that mouldy caravan. So we're back there combating uh, the issues there and finalizing up that clean. So it'll be really good to see the final result on that one and get that all resolved for the customer. The other technicians, carpets, upholstery, ovens. On the contract side though, it's all pretty quiet. They're sort of just on a bit of a wind down to try and just keep it ticking over today. Although we've got one or two interviews going on um, today as well. So got a couple of meetings myself this morning. I need to catch up with Ashley and obviously pass on the feedback about yesterday. And I need to catch up with Danny to formulate a plan for the uh, new technician starting. Um, just to make sure we've got a plan in place because of the time of year it is. When it comes to the training, we need to make sure we've got the training all right to get everything they need to to get done um, within the correct time period. So yeah, busy day as usual and uh, wrapping up the week. I'll give you the good news first. Just had an email from Firmacore. Yeah, I just seen that. I just copied you in. Yeah. yeah. And I was so, trying to think who the previous one, it was Damien. So that's good. And yeah. I've rung Marcus and just told him and thanked him because I thought that would go a long way. Um, Ollie. He's all right. Videoed. He's fine. Hey. You're being videoed. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never like to stop anyone being productive. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's a good step. I mean, obviously, they're going to have a pause while they move office and everything, but that's fine. get that as well. Well, yeah, hopefully that will come on anyway, and then it might, it's, that's an extra few hours and whatever anyway, isn't it? So that's good. The bad news you've probably already seen, which is the audits that we did yesterday. Some of them anyway, one or two. I've seen Vale. You saw Vale. We didn't submit Hatherley because yeah, it's has been on the wrong. Too. I thought he would. I think the day was really good. Don't get me wrong. I think he the day was really it. good. He and I, I think it. he got a lot from it. Although I say it's bad news, I don't think anything is majorly wrong. And all the customers are happy. But you know me. Mm. Um, and it, But it is very clear that there, there is improvements to be made. <coughs> Hatherley in particular, we can we can improve what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, about some sprayer. Yeah, well, me and you said before about just having a spray canister, and you haven't got around to doing it. No, no. I know it's fine, um, but we need to kind of just talk through it and formulate a bit of a, a bit of a plan more than anything, really. So, so it's about half six, and I'm wrapping up for the day. Tied up a few loose ends, got some bits done, um, and just feel all a bit better to wrap up for the weekend. So that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Please do come back next week when we are dealing with body fat and deep cleaning galore all the way through the week. If you want to see some seriously grimy stuff, you need to check out next week's episode. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell, and if you do want to see anything in particular, drop us a comment and let us know. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.
Behind the Cranes. <laughs>